mayor's report, and I do have a few items to share tonight. There will be an executive session held this evening to discuss pending and potential litigation for RCW 42.30.110 paren 1 paren I. The item is expected to last 40 minutes and no action is anticipated to follow in open session. There are some community events that are going on. So along with the Issaquah Police Department, I'm excited to participate in several neighborhood national night out events tomorrow, August 3rd. National Night Out is an annual community building campaign that promotes police community partnerships and neighborhood camaraderie to make our neighborhoods safer, better places to live. I thank the neighborhoods who are hosting some events this year. It's going to be fun. Concerts on the Green is also continuing this month, um, tomorrow at 7 p.m. at the Issaquah Community Center. You can come and join us for the 25th annual Concert on the Green series. And a reminder that the Issaquah Farmers Market is still running uh, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturdays, rain or shine through September 25th. The Snoqualmie Tribe Vaccination Clinic that was held earlier this year was made possible through a partnership between the Snoqualmie Tribe, a sovereign nation, and the City of Issaquah, Eastside Fire and Rescue, and the City of Sammamish. On August 12th, a celebration will honor the many volunteers who participated. We are thankful and grateful for the 200 volunteers that provided service to our community. Those volunteers contributed their time over a 52-day period with a combined total of over 4,100 volunteer hours. And my last item is on community budget session. As I begin to prepare the 2022 proposed budget, we are looking for some community feedback and the city will be hosting a community meeting at 6 p.m. on August 4th for those who are interested in learning more about the city's financial forecast and to provide input on future priorities. And that concludes my report.